everyone and welcome to the podcast of course you know me the host fluff still don't have a guest yet but as you can see a whole different location because your boy just moved so i haven't been doing anything for the past uh elemental p days and but except for this i had to paint this place of course i have like you know help of paint it which bless the help thank you and uh yeah man moving whole new location still the same me longer hair though this shit's getting mad long to the point where it's just it's, it's getting down there down there but yeah man dog there's there's so much that basically kind of happened. I don't know whether or not I want to go with more of like story time shit or the fact of me just talking about random shit or both at the same time, which may be the wave because that's what I'm feeling like. But anyways, just to start off, just a little update, of course. I already said before, moved. Uh, now I live in, I guess you could say... Uh, the ghetto or the hood outskirts of it whatever but yeah man now here paying way less in rent so it's pretty nice me and my girl are actually pretty happy we still got some stuff to do like we gotta you know we still gotta get a fridge we still gotta get a stove we ain't got that yet you know in time well we we do have a fridge but we ended up buying, we bought like a little medium sized fridge just for, cause my mom came and visit as well. So that was a time. And then had a, they had to get a fridge for her so she can have her diet sun kissed cold. And yeah, but all in all, man, you know, but been, it's been, been pretty crazy these, uh, these past, like basically holidays and everything that's happening but hopefully y'all christmas or hanukkah or whatever the fuck that you celebrate except for jehovah witness witnesses because they don't celebrate anything except for one day pretty sad but damn they don't even celebrate their birthday so i don't know how they keep count <coughs> without celebrating your birthday but Hopefully all the holidays were good. All the New Year's is pretty good. Um, all y'all people that's about to do this whole new resu new resu is it resolution or that sound like a, like a camera shit or whatever new new revolution? I don't know, man. Whatever the new shit is for y'all goals and stuff. Hopefully y'all stick with it. Um, if y'all don't, just know ain't nobody gonna judge you. But you're a quitter. Just saying. How about you not be a quitter? I think that's the main goal for a lot of people. That should be for a lot of people is actually quitting. Learn how to not quit, bro. Just all you got to do is just learn how to not quit. And you would end up accomplishing your dumbass goals or really good goals, whichever one. Usually they're kind of just dumbass goals in general. But, you know. Either way, hopefully y'all do that. Actually, um, my girl's family is, uh, they're Mexican. So they have more like this tradition where they eat, uh, 12 grapes. And before like midnight, like I think you eat 12 grapes. So basically you start at 148 and you eat a grape every minute. And each grape is supposed to be a wish or it's like a wish or a goal or something like that. I did mine. I wrote mine down. I'm going to manifest this bitch. Watch this. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all. I'm not. I'm just going to read it out to y'all. So. 12 great wishes, bruh. 12 of them. All right. First things first. Uh, I wrote a song last year. And uh, I'm not leaving it in the past. I want to go ahead and get that song fully produced and everything like that. Because my girl heard it and she was like, oh, this actually sounds really good. And I'm like, well, I, I might as well produce it now. Shit. So 
I need to find a producer or whatever to get that done because I don't think my friend yet is fully like there to produce and I don't want to produce this song and you know make it sound like it's like shit so I need to find a producer and stuff like that I'm gonna get that handled because I'm just gonna do one song and one song only and that's gonna be it that's a wrap I'm gonna be like the guy with the fucking picture and you can hear the uh hear the song I think it went like something like you didn't cut me off or whatever or somebody that you used to know boom that's the song that I'm talking about I'm trying to have a banger like that and just disappear or like the or like nobody knows what the fuck the guy really is doing for uh what what's the fuck is that song like track star it was like popular on tiktok and shit like that she's a running she's a track star she gonna run away when they get hard yeah i'm trying to have like a one hit one hit wonder well it's not gonna be a one hit wonder because obviously you know people gonna know that i'm mainly gonna be doing a podcast and shit like that but if they don't know about the podcast, then I'll be a one hit wonder. But that was the first one. Had to get that out the way. Second one is I'm going back to school starting back in like February so I can get my business degree. For those of y'all that don't know, uh, I'm in I'm in sales. I used to do like tech stuff, like be a network admin and shit like that. But I've been selling kind of basically since like. Well, help helping to sell since around like after I got out of high school which was 2015 basically but I didn't really help that much but it's it's like a family business just know I've been working with dogs for a very long time like actual paper dogs and not some hood shit that you see on the fucking corner or trying to take a homeless guy's dog or whatever nah man this is actually AKC registered dogs that you know I I work with but anyways I'm in sales, bruh. So I need my business degree, bruh. Well, business, and I might do a minor in uh, marketing as well. So I'm going to do that. But I need to actually pass my classes with a B because, you know, uh, your boy is pretty lazy. And if you piss me off, then I'm going to be like, yo, fuck you. Fuck this class. Fuck all that. Who are you? And that's what happened for my spring semester of 2023. Because fuck that bitch. I came to class one time and she locked me out. So fuck that bitch with the passion. I pray on her downfall every day, but I swear I have no enemies. But that's the second wish. Basically pass my classes with a B or higher. That's really all it is. And next wish, number three. uh, Yo, we got to get the podcast to pop off. Like we going we. I'm going to get this shit straight. I'm going to start working more. I'm going to learn more of the marketing strats and shit like that so I can make the podcast better. Then I'm also make me better as well with my speaking and stuff like that. So all in all, man, podcasts, we going, we going places this year, all right? 2024, we are going places, dude. There is no maybe, hopefully, not nah, we are going places, all right? Big bet. Next thing is uh start my first business. Um I really want to start my first business. I don't want to say what it is cuz fuck y'all. Y'all not going to take my business, my business idea and go with it and do it. Fuck y'all. Just know I'm going to start a business. Then after that, next wish is it's also for work because i plan on actually being at this new job that i'm at for a good long time so i definitely want to hit their phase three which is definitely working with more along the lines of doing payroll and work with like shit like that like basically back in office that will help for businesses because the next step is where you are owner but i'm not going to go to that level with them because i don't want to be a owner in a field that i'm in right now like the field is cool and i really like it good people love the people there they're actually pretty funny and chill and it's like a chill workplace but i don't want to be an owner whatsoever i i want to get up to that third phase i want to learn it like the back of my hand so then whenever i start my business and like well i'm gonna probably start it at the same time 
the sh- fucking screen went black, bro. Computer, no. Uh. But as I was saying, man, yo, at the same time as I'm doing like the phase three where I'm doing the W2s and stuff like that, I'm also probably be starting my business because I'll be saved up enough money because I think for my business to start off, I want to save at minimum, I would say 25K. 25K where I can be able to start my business and actually have full, I want to feel comfortable. You know, some people say go ahead and start off with like low money, but you don't feel comfortable whenever you start off with low money. I want to be able to feel comfortable if I need to actually have like a building or something or rent out a building or anything like that. Then I can be able to rent out that space and be comfortable knowing that it may be a slow start. All right. That's I feel like people don't fully think about that in their head about how they're going to start off. They just kind of like start off with the low money and then just build up from there. Like I know. I want to start off with some type of decent money so then I can feel comfortable. But yeah, what's the next wish? Um, I don't know what number that we're on because I lost track. But number next is making um my dog's studs. I have two Frenchies, if none of y'all know. Um, and I want to make them a stud so I can be able... I don't want to be just in like um just local which i feel like a lot of people for all y'all like people that want to make your dog stud which is like males and you want them you can be able to you could ship your sperm and whoever is going to breed the dog can just you know basically put the sperm inside of them so just know you don't need to stay local if you have a business to where you're breeding dogs and like you just mainly have males you can ship your sperm to different states. There's a special way to do it to basically keep it like cold or like if you're shipping anything refrigerated, just know, dog, don't stay local. Okay? Don't just stay in the state. Don't try to do stuff where it's like in person or whatever. Like if you're not actually the one that's uh if the dogs basically can't fuck, like you know, English bulldogs, Frenchies shit like that they can't actually have sex themselves and you could just be able to send sperm bro since since sperm there's so many breeders out there in the whole world bro just send sperm all right so basically made my dog studs i don't want to you know put a lot of pressure on to them and like always be doing it like i don't want them basically be like oh like you know it's your time of the month right now let's go ahead and get that sperm all right get your dick out like nah, we da, we're not doing that. Okay, we're not doing that here. Uh, next wish. Uh, I just want to become a better salesman, just in general, bro. All right, I'm trying to be able to sell Jesus his own wine. I that's what I want to be able to do. That's the top. Fuck being the best or being one of the best or whatever. Fuck that. That shit is to the side. I want to be able to sell the person their own product that they're growing. That's the point of a salesman that I want to be at. Fuck being the best. Like, I feel like if you're able to sell someone something that they are basically making or they can basically make themselves without like no problems, then you have made it as a salesman. You're there. You're like the fucking the bodybuilders that has muscles on top of muscles. Or like they have like if you ever watch Baki, they got the fucking back, bro. They got the demon back and shit. Basically just like that. That's that's the type of level that I want to be at. So of course, I've been reading. That's a book back there, right beside the blue pole and like back behind the little leashes. That's a book called How to how to master the art of selling by tom hopkins if you want to get into sales because sales makes a lot of money get into it i think sales also helps with communication your communication skills and talking to people looking eye to eye to people basically it it runs down a whole track of like skills that i feel everybody should need so look into it i think it's worth it uh what the fuck else is next 
Damn, I got one, two, three, four, five. Hey, we're on wish whatever number is uh five, whatever. But the next one is I want to pay off my car, my credit card, dog, especially my credit card. Uh, just know for anybody that's in the military, are y'all about to go to boot camp and stuff? Navy Fed will give you a card that's around like I think fifteen thousand or like twenty thousand. I'm not even sure if it's twenty thousand now, but when I got my credit card, it was fifteen k limit, bro. I was balling out. All right, my shit is up and my shit is maxed. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna keep it like that. All right, my shit is up and my shit got up and my shit is maxed. I know, pretty bad, but hey. That credit score is not below 600. I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. Either that, like, that's a flex. That is crazy. I just realized that. I said that like it was a flex. But whatever. I want to pay off my debts, man. I got to pay that shit off this year. So it's going to happen this year. And then I'm probably going to build back up that credit card debt. Because, yeah. And I'm going to pay that shit right the fuck back down. It's gonna, it's gonna be a fucking slingy effect of wave bullshit. But yeah, no. Um, I'm not gonna say this wish out loud because I again it's for the business and like one of the businesses that I would like to have. So yeah. We're gonna skip that one. Um, next, I'm making 50k in a month, bro. It's gonna happen this this year. 2024, I'm making 50K in one month. I feel like that shouldn't really be a hard goal, but it's my goal and I'm going to do that shit. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, buy all fast food place on the corner. All right. The thing is, is that there's a place that's like right up the block, like right at the light. And it's a little fucking uh, abandoned looking fast food driveway bullshit. Nobody's in it off of the simple fact that old dude is trying to charge between seven to 10 K a month. That's absurd. You are fucking ridiculous. My guy. Fuck. No, nobody's doing that. But he says that he has buildings that he pays for somewhere else. So. The plan is to basically see if old dude has been actually paying like the property taxes and the, and like the stuff for the building, because if he hasn't, I'm a come in, I'm a, I'm a pay for that stuff. And I'm gonna take that building from him basically because he hasn't been paying. So it's basically up and, it, but as all in all, that's if he hasn't been paying for it, like. If he's been paying for it, I can't take it from him because he's still paying everything. He's just leaving the building empty like an idiot. But anyways, I'm going to end up taking it if he hasn't been paying. So that's what I'm going to do. It's commercial buildings. It's not your home. I don't care. High key, bro, don't care. Commercial buildings should be a free for all thing. I'm telling you, if you six months late on like paying bro that's a wrap go ahead and put it back in the pot let somebody else take it because they gotta go you need business you need to circulate the money in the economy bro you having abandoned buildings is not good but last thing is uh it, this is more along the lines of like a wish all right this is one that i would definitely say if because is dealing with another person, another individual. So, but for my homie, uh, what you call it? I'm just going to call him potato. My homie potato. If he's ever basically down to actually like fully start his like growing uh business, then I want to help him start it. And I want to be able to have that money to where he can be able to start it comfortably as well too, bro. Cause fuck. And then that's what friends for. Of course, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna get some royalties and stuff out of it as well because I'm gonna be helping basically funded and getting them started. So 
of course I want to be a part of it. And then plus on top of that, if he needs help, then I will want to help him. If he basically needs a salesperson or a marketing person, I will be able to help him. Ta da. That's what it comes down to, bro. I'm telling y'all, y'all motherfuckers get into sales, dude. It, it's crazy. If you have a whole bunch of friends that are fully in tech and like they want to make apps and shit like that, and you know that your dumbass is not that good at fucking actually doing computer stuff, hint, hint, this guy, then, dude, be a salesman. They can make the app, but if they ain't got nobody to market it, then, then what's the fucking point? It just goes down the fucking drain. So yeah, dog, that's my 12 wishes, bro. I didn't even know that this was going to take this long. But then again, this podcast episode is actually going to be pretty long. So I should probably talk about that. I just, all right, yeah, we're going to talk about it. So kind of an update for the actual podcast. I'm switching it to, we're doing it every month, but every month it's going to be like a longer podcast. And then I'm going to end up breaking it up into different parts to where it'll be like three different parts basically so i'll have it set to where you can listen to the whole thing all at once right or you can listen to the basically three parters which part one will probably come out like a week part two will probably come out on a week and then part three will come out a week because i know some people excuse me some some people they don't want to listen to like a whole thing which I fully understand. That's the whole point of why I was doing 30 minutes in the beginning. But when it comes down to it, if I need to, if I need to basically do this podcast by month, then I'm probably going to split it up into like different parts because I have school coming up and plus I got work. And from y'all knowing that basically I'm trying to have like my own business to start my own business and shit. Then yeah. Bro, we're going to have to split it up by a month. Still going to be posting a uh, little, like, probably, like, TikToks and shorts and stuff like that. Probably just make it more random and not actually tied to the actual podcast, but probably something that I will say, that I will or would say on the podcast. But now, if I do say something, though, and it actually pops off and a lot of people are talking about it in the comments, then I will end up putting it, I'll have like a whole segment on it basically on the podcast. So I'm going to do that. And then plus that's going to actually help me for ideas and stuff for talking on a podcast in general. So I think it's like, you know, it's a good little situation. So I like it, bro. I think it's a really good idea. I don't really care about y'all because y'all are y'all motherfuckers are just tuning in, but I like it. Cool. We're going to keep it rolling, bro. We're going to keep it rolling. But yeah, that's a little update, but I don't, Anything else rather than that? Uh, not really changing the actual like of how the podcast is going to work. Not changing at all. But what else we got here? Uh, let me find my little tings. Oh, so I still have yet what I, I haven't watched the live action one piece. I heard it was pretty good. I personally. I once once I heard that there was like parts that was like skipped out of it, I didn't want to watch it. So then it made me come to a realization. I'm like, man, are live actions even like worth? Like I feel like if a if a series has been animated, then don't make a live action for it. Like, bro, there's so many other like mangas out there that they could do that they can make an easier live action for because i feel like whenever you have whenever that you have something that's like animated already animated it was already good you bring in like the live action it just there's too much expectation for the live action and then the live action just ends up being a flop but it's even a harder flop like, I think the hardest fucking flop of a live action was uh, Full Metals. Horrible. Bro, you could see the fucking clear tape on this man's wig. It was wild. I didn't even watch it. I just saw it on Netflix. And I looked at it, and I saw, like, the little, like, you know how they have, like, the little secret, what, what the fuck is that shit called? Sneak peek, basically, bullshit, or, like, dust stuff? Trailer, I guess. 
I don't fucking know, man. But it had that an old dude had fucking a clear a big ass clear piece of tape on the side of his face. I was like, bro, they they couldn't even like edit that out or nothing, bro. They don't know even they don't even know how to work Photoshop. Like, no. Mm. So anything that I feel they should either focus on just animating it only or just making a live action of it only. And honestly, the live action, I'm going to tell you all this. Sports animes, that should be live action. Uh, Any like martial arts where it's not actual powers, but like uh, Megalobox, Megalobox will be a dope ass live action movie. And um, like shit like that. Or like any like school like dramas, like if they made real life, real life, I'm not sure if they made it or not, but real life would 100% be a really good fucking uh, live action, like stuff, like stuff like that, like rom, like romance, like mangas or like romance and comedy mangas and stuff like that should definitely be uh, live action. Uh, 100% live action would be horrors and a lot of these mangas would completely completely go over the horrors if they had like basically like production level like the conjuring and think about that for like mangas that are just crazy wild dude wild so i think i think it's more along the lines that industries need to take an actual better careful look at what they should actually be having as either a live action or an anime or some shit just stay in the book bro if your story is not that good stay in the book if your isekai is the same isekai as about 20 others stay in the book bro i'm sorry dog but in these isekais bro they getting out of hand all right that vending machine crazy crazy bro there's no reason why that should have been animated but they they haven't like they probably haven't even thought about animating uh stuff that's even like popular in manga like i know like finally kaju number eight is getting an anime which lit as fuck but like sakamoto days i feel like deserves like an anime and i think it deserved it more than unlock undead but then again, I've already read to about, I think, chapter seven of Unlocked Undead. So I think the anime still has even more than what I've read or way a lot more than what I've read. So that's that's what that is. But fuck, dude. Live actions. I hope that y'all get better. I hope that y'all motherfuckers learn from One Piece because apparently One Piece is doing actually really good. And not just a whole bunch of One Piece fans just blowing it up. But tell y'all, it'd be it'd be good. Learn y'all just need to learn what y'all need to actually have. Learn what y'all could like <coughs> learn what y'all can do basically without having to animate. Like if if you can make a really good movie and like with actual real people, just make the movie, bro, or just make the show. Well, that's another thing too is that a lot of these like twelve season uh animes can definitely be put into one movie. It can be it might it may be a lengthy movie, like two and a half hours long or like three hours, but it can be compressed and you can have all the details in there. No, I think like what we need more instead of having like all these animes because they mainly get paid off of putting out every every week. That's how they get paid because they air it on TV and stuff like that. If y'all know for all that. But dog, we need more anime movies, bro. Like the only ones that I've really seen is either like some of the One Piece. Um, I haven't watched the Demon Slayer one yet, but I need to whenever I get to that point. I'll do that later. I'm still haven't watched full of a uh, Demon Slayer yet, but basically, yeah, yeah, that Studio Ghibli 
is basically running like the anime films. Like, and they're good and people watch them. People buy them. That's the crazy thing. People really buy the disc of Studio Ghibli movies. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of uh, anime industries, y'all should definitely look into making actual like movies. Like, you know, little, little like mangas and stuff that actually do well. And a lot of people know y'all should just make a movie of it, bruh. And it shouldn't really even cost that much as making like a week by week anime. So yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of movies, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and complain about it. But that's, that is what it is, man. Shit. Make more movies. Make more movies. Please make more movies. Uh, then, I mean, also talking about stuff, I feel like, um, aside from like anime stuff and like cartoons and stuff like that, dude, I try to, I'm, I'm actually uh, starting to get back into sports, uh, trying to watch more like UFC stuff like that. Basically have like a fighter. Cause I want to get back to where I, like, I, I had like a fighter that I used to watch all the time. Or I had like multiple, of course, like Anderson Silva always will watch him. Uh, Leoto Machida always will watch him too because I like the I like karate and uh, the Korean zombie of course I was always watching him and now they're not really you know I think they're all I think Korean zombie was the last one but they're all basically I think retired now I'm not I'm not sure if they still fight or what I haven't heard any anything about um, Leoto Machida and I don't know how long or like I used to watch fighters like Rampage Jackson, bro. That man was a beast, fucking all that. But yeah, man, I need to. I want to get back into it. I I really want to get back into it. I want to go to a UFC fight. That'll be lit as fuck. But I want it to be like an actual good UFC fight too, to where like you know, there's there's like a chance of like there's celebrities there and stuff like that. Like I I want to go to something that's huge, bro huge that's what i want to go to like even if i pay like a band on a ticket i'm gonna pay two bands on two tickets bro because of course like my girl will come with me but you know gotta gotta go to a usc fight got to but I, i'm trying to get into that i want to start watching that more um but there's just like a lot of sports just really hasn't been hitting like that like i think esports has been hitting more than regular sports <clears throat> but unless we start actually showing more sports on tv or like advertising more sports on tv because i know like russia got some crazy shit bro like they got the telephone booth fighting where there are two guys inside of a telephone booth just fucking throwing left and right bows at each other damn that shit's crazy that or they had one where uh it was like a so it was like a 5v5 fighting and they fought until like the person that got knocked out or or uh uh submission they had like this one dude bro he went through four people because it's it starts off it goes by one by one so it's like it's one v ones the whole time but the but after the one person gets knocked out, then another person from their team comes in and then they go at it. Dude was there for like four people straight and just got out. And he was like, man, I'm going to take a break. Somebody else can have it. Like, but no, that, that shit was crazy. I would definitely want to like watch that more. What else is there? I, I really want to like try to watch like women's sports more, but they just need to, they need to fix it. Okay. All right. I feel like for women's basketball, sorry to say, but please, yo, lower the goal by like a foot, okay? By just by just a foot so there could be more females dunking on each other. Because a lot of people like a lot of people watch basketball off of the excitement and you get so much excitement whenever you see like a dude dunking on another dude, like putting his nuts 
on his forehead. It's just excitement. And then you like watch the WNBA and you're like, man, this shit is bullshit, bro. I can go out there and be better than that. There is no reason why there are so many missed open layups. It is crazy. All right. Wild. Wild. Like, I. Why? Like, that is. That just blows my mind, bro. Like, I would rather watch little kids play and miss all day than grown women play. Because it doesn't bring. It doesn't bring no excitement. Like, if they're able to reach at the goal, like, easier, then it will bring so much more excitement. Dog, the layups that they can be able to do, the dunks that they'll be able to do. It's crazy, bro. They and then they got it. Just lower that shit down by your foot. And and you don't even have to tell people that y'all lower that shit down by a foot. That's the crazy thing. Y'all just gotta lower it by a foot, bro. Cause nobody on TV or probably even in person is gonna be like, hmm. By my measurements, it looks like the goal is actually nine feet instead of ten feet. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like, no, bro, ain't nobody gonna be like that. Now let's be realistic. Because then, if y'all can be able to bring in more revenue, then y'all wouldn't have to worry about the NBA paying y'all wages. Just bring in money, and then y'all can start paying y'all own people. And then y'all have y'all own wages because of how much money that y'all bring in. So yeah, that, um, I think soccer is another sport that, but I would say both for men and women for here, we need to, we need to start advertising more. We need to actually start like watching it more because soccer is like the world sport is the world's number one sport. Why won't we actually? Why are we not good, bro? What? Why? Are, why is USA ass, bro? At soccer. So fuck it, bro. Let's let's be able to fix that shit. Cause there's so much sports that can be advertised. There's so there's so much. But I feel like that's that that would end up working out. I want to see more. Oh, I think like Russia also has a medieval sword fighting shit. Now, that's lit as fuck. I'm sorry to say I would definitely watch that. I would be the guy because that shit sounds lit as fuck. And I watched it the whole video for about five minutes. And I was like, man, this shit is pretty motherfucking lit. I just like I'm spectating for honor, bro. I then. Yeah, that was pretty lit. There was another one too. Oh, wrestling basketball. I just remembered, bro. I've seen that shit. That is wild. I think it's hilarious. I don't even care of like how they play basketball. I just think the fact that before they do any takedown, they have to basically go and just pull off their shirt and then just go and take it and then go and just fucking slam the shit out of somebody. Like, bro, what? Like, why? Why is that in the rules? Somebody need to tell me why the fuck are you just able to just as long as you take off your shirt, you can slam the fuck out of anybody. It's like people that are arcane people, arcaoing people, fucking basically like picking them up from the back and then slamming them on like their head and shit. That's pretty fucking crazy, bro. That shit is pretty fucking crazy. I want to watch it. I don't know where to watch it or anything like that. So motherfuckers, y'all need to start advertising shit more, bro. I don't care if it's from a whole different country. That shit, shit like that is what I want to watch. That is entertaining. That's what sports is for, is entertainment. But shit, dude, that shit is crazy. That's what I really want. I, I want to watch those. But yeah, but now that we're in a uh, new year, 
as well. We need to talk about the best. How can I put it? Basically, like what is like the best songs? Oh no, I won't get that specific. I'll basically do. Mm, we'll do top like we'll do top ten basically best artists of twenty thirteen. Okay, because twenty thirteen had some bangers. All right, now y'all gonna be mad at me, but I'm gonna let y'all know I'm not that huge fan of Utopia. Sorry, just not. It didn't hit like I wanted it to hit. Okay. It wasn't up to my expectations. And I'm not talking about I want an Astro World expectations. Like the producing and everything, loved it, bro. I feel like I feel like I'm fucking Anthony Fantano because I fully agree with him on this. Dude, the lyrics is ass. Ass booty cheeks, bro. This shit's crazy. Like, but, but, horrible. But I will say, um, I'm not gonna write these down. I'm just gonna give off a list of artists I think that did really fucking well in 2023. First ones, Offset. I don't care what the fuck drama that he has or whatever with Cardi B the whole fucking time. That's our PR stunts. That's for marketing. That's to basically stay relevant because at the end of the year, these two are still partying and getting money with each other. Y'all need to learn whenever there's something that's a stunt and then something that's real. Okay, let's be honest. But, dude, Offset, he's been going off, bro. He's been going off for takeoff. I can't say the same thing for Quavo. But I can tell you one thing, and that's one thing only, that motherfucking Offset right here, this motherfucker right here, has been going off, bro. Tell you, bro. Really good. That was a really good album that he put out, that recent one. I forgot the name of it, but that was really good. Um, Drake, I'm going to have to say Drake actually did pretty good. All the Dogs was actually a really decent album. I liked it way better than the last three that he made. So I will give Drake his props this time. But we'll see how that goes for next time. Um, Even though he only put out like one album, it was a pretty good album. I will give Sleepy Hollow his flowers. That was a pretty good album. I will say that I'm just scrolling through dude J. Cole put out no album and this still did so much and crazy man is a goat man is a goat if you look up goat in the dictionary you will see Jermaine Cole that is crazy uh still wait there's some stuff that I'm still waiting for like I could have sworn ASAP Rocky was going to end up dropping an album. What happened with that? Schoolboy, what happened with that? Hopefully that y'all two actually make some songs together because y'all best songs is with both of y'all on them. Let's make some more music together, bro. Please. Uh, I did not like Little Uzi's new album. I will say that. Only like one song, and that's with Don Tolliver. That was it. Not a fan of it. Um, I don't care if he's a snitch or not. Gunna's album was pretty lit. Uh, I think No Name came out with something. Wasn't really it. And I think there was drama back behind it. Uh, of course, Metro Boomin. But he's just, Metro Boomin a goat, bro. That man is just, that's, that's another goat too. Too good, bro. He's way too good. But I think that's really. I don't. The, I'm not sure if Tyler the Creator's album came out in 2022. 
2023. I think it did, and I think it was earlier in the year. I would say that was a really good album, too. I really fucked with it. Uh, Ray Shmurda, I had so much more hope for you, but that went nowhere. Kind of disappointed. Um, I found a lot of like new artists and stuff. Jordan Ward, y'all should listen to him. He is actually pretty dope. But yeah, uh, that's really mainly it for artists. I mean, I still listen to Smino. Smino's lit. I'm not sure if his new album came out in 2023 or 2022. I'm thinking. Hold on, let me see here. I actually have one of his songs put up. Let's see. When did Love? Yeah, Love for Rent came out in 2022. Okay, yeah. But I still listening to Smino, listening to Saba, listening to the uh, K Dot. Been fucking with the uh, Isaiah Rashad. He's pretty lit. But yeah, man, there, there is so. The, I think I think a lot of artists did pretty well, and a lot of them are pretty shitty. I have even heard Pink Friday too, but I heard it wasn't even close to being as good as Pink Friday. So. I'm not gonna listen to it. But yeah. That's that's really it for the artist, man. I'm really hoping that uh I don't know what happened to Kanye's album with Ty Dolla Sign. I thought it was supposed to come out, or if he put it out on that weird ass machine. But that shit ain't on Spotify. Okay. Uh and Kanye, I'm gonna go ahead and need you to go ahead and put that shit on the Spotify. All right. We don't have to go ahead and do that. Thank you. But I uh, can't wait for Schoolboy Q's. Uh, I think it's like an album or project or whatever that he's doing. That should be pretty lit. And TDE should uh, definitely have something because I think they had like their 20th anniversary. They got to do they got to do something, bro. But I think it was like not too long ago that they had the 20th anniversary. But yeah. Do I even want to talk about that? Oh, we're going to skip to this one. This one may be the last thing or one of the last things that I do talk about before I end up wrapping this bitch up. But I will say that I, I, I had a different, um, 21st birthday I would say I had a different 21st birthday than a lot of people because it's because technically legally this wasn't my first year of drinking damn this shit clock. oh well I'll fix that later but yeah no this wasn't my first year of drinking I was in Japan so the legal age of drinking was 20 so since I basically lived there at that time, I, w- I went out drinking on uh, my 20th birthday, but I didn't really get to go out and actually do stuff because on my 20th birthday, it was kind of mixed shitty and I had to do a whole bunch of working parties because it was close to around the time that I first went out to the uh, to the field, pull up this chair, I'm gonna pull my foot up. But yeah. But my 21st birthday was pretty crazy, bro. Because I think it was on like a Saturday. And I say it's pretty wild, man. I Because we first decided is like, you know what? We're going to go to AV, which is American Village. A lot of people are probably going to say, oh, American Village is trash or blah, blah, blah. When I was there, that shit was lit. But we went there. They had this. Uh, it was like this. It was right across from this ramen place. It was like a little ice cream shop, but you was able to get like a a drink with shots in it and dot. Bro, these were cups. These were not shots. All right. These were cups. I seen this man. Basically, he because because he showed he showed me before of how big like the shot cups are. Them shits are thick, bro. Like he put his hand in there like this and touched the bottom with all of his fingers. That shit, that shit was wide, bro. That shit was, that was a damn telescope that he had as basically a fucking shot. So 
he will put three of them bitches inside my drink. It was, uh, I would get like an orange soda with Malibu. It was called like Sunkissed or whatever, something like that. But it would be like a cool like 32 ounce drink. 30, it's either 32 or 48 ounce drink. I don't know. That bitch was big as fuck. But I had that. I was drinking that. We would be like right next to the beach because we're basically right there at the beach. So we'd be drinking that. I'll get done. And then I decided, like, yeah, you know, I'm going to get this mojito, a mojito. And we were drinking that for a little bit, just chilling on the beach or whatever. And we would just be drinking like almost the whole day, man. It would be. It'd be lit. Like we went to this one place that has some bomb ass French fries. And we was just like sitting outside because they had like it was like hammocks or like something like that. I had one of my friends, he basically came up and he was like beyond lit. Like this man before like meeting up together, he uh he drunk like two or three Irish trash cans. He like he chugged the first one for effect and junk like the other ones like pretty fast. So he was he was beyond lit. If you know what an Irish trash can is, you already know how strong that is. If you don't know what an Irish trash can is, just go over to your local bar and ask for an Irish trash can and watch him make it. Just look with your eyes and see what goes inside. Because that shit is crazy. For any of those people that live in uh, Pasadena and you go to Barney's, they, they'll they make you an Irish trash can, all right? It'll be hella Irish. Hella Irish. Just know. Hella. Hella Irish, bro. But. Yeah, he had those. He was beyond lit. Man ended up sleeping on like my shoulder. But I just let him because dog when you when you that gone, you're that gone. He 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 risen back up later on in the night though. And still kept on drinking because that's what we do. But we ended up uh after we had that, we went up to this place that had like these zombie drinks. I'm not even sure if it's still there. But for anybody that's like in Okinawa or wants to go visit Okinawa, which I recommend. Uh, they speak more. It's more people that speak English there, honestly. So why not? But, ooh. but yeah, man, we, we went to this place and we had like these zombie drinks. I got one of my profile pictures that stayed up for about like two or three years uh, from there. It was pretty dope. I had some shades that I had no idea where I got them from. Holding a drink up with a watch. Just a little flex. It was a pretty nice, decent fucking picture, bro. I will definitely tell you that. I'll probably end up putting it to the side of me right here so y'all can see. Because that shit is a banger. That shit was probably the best picture that I've ever taken in my whole life. And. Yeah, we went there. Uh, While I was there, there was a curfew. So, of course, we had to end up coming back. But. Basically, started drinking at around like 10 or 11. Then we went to, we stopped probably around like, I think two or three o'clock at night. Definitely would say, um, spent a lot of money. I think when I checked my bank account, uh, I think I went from like 900 to 300. So you could say I spent around roughly $600, give or take. So, hey. It was a pretty fun time. It was a good time. I would definitely say that um I can't drink like that no more. I would probably die. <laughs> I, fuck that. Dude, I get I get hangovers now and it's crazy. I no, I can't drink like that no more. I don't even really drink no more just in general. I think I just really only uh smoke and call it a good day. Drinking. I'll probably drink like beers from like time to time, but Lately, I just been kind of not drinking at all. Feeling pretty good. Dude, this shit is fucking bald. Crazy though, crazy. Uh, 
since it really hasn't even hit an hour, man, let's, let's give it another one. We'll save that for the next one. We'll save that for the next one. Oh, since we're talking about sports anyways, this main podcast name is probably going to be like a whole bunch of sports. But, dog, have y'all ever... So, for the people that have watched the 18... The 18 plus content of what's called pornography. Um, dog, there is like that sports league. I don't, I don't know if any of y'all remember or they even still do it or not, but there's like a porn sports league. That shit is crazy, bro. I'm not sure if any of y'all actually heard of it. I don't even know the name of it. I just remembered I was like, we're gonna watch some lesbian porn. And then I ran into one where it looked like they were like wrestling each other. And I was like, what the fuck? So watch that. And then I actually watched it from like beginning to end. Cause I was interested in why the fuck are they wrestling? So it was, I'm not going to go into graphic details or nothing like that, but basically they were wrestling and whoever won got the strap after that. They were, uh, what you call it? They will have the sexual intercourse with the strap. But, dude, that shit was wild. And I was like, man, that is crazy. I didn't even meet my meat. That's the wild thing, too. Because I was, you know, if, you, if you're going to go watch porn, your original thought process is, I'm going to molest myself as I watch porn. I know it's horrible to say it like that, but that's exactly how it is. And I want to say it like that for all the people that have an addiction. Just know you're molesting yourself. Anyways, back on topic. Dude, that shit was wild, bro. And I was like, man, that's crazy. I stopped watching it because there was like some that were like with dudes. It would be like a, it would be a chick with a dude. But and one of the people that actually like trained me while I was in, uh, school in the schoolhouse that's what we call it in the military is whenever you actually go learn your job finally after getting fucked around for about like three or four months you actually go learn your job so the guy that taught me part of my job not the whole thing part of it was this black ball-headed dude and his ass was in there bro using his legal name this nigga named (laughs) bro his name is william and it really popped up William I was like man you know no so that was weird I never went back to it ever since because I was like man I will be damned if I ever run into somebody again I think that's probably why I started watching hentai dude fuck fuck watching regular people get some art in your life because bro that is wild man I think whenever that you actually run into somebody that you know and you know how they sound in their voice, bro. It's that's weird. That shit is weird. So yeah, no, it fuck, fuck that, fuck that shit. Hentai for the win, my boy. Hentai for the win. Because I will be damned if I ever end up in another situation like that. Cause that shit is wild. But I had to see it through, so. That's probably another reason why I just probably just watch hentai no anymore or this. I just mainly just watch hentai because dog, that shit was not going away and it had to be beat. And this motherfucker was the next video. Oh. Horrible. Horrible. Just horrible. But. Yeah, never, never again doing that. But that shit is crazy, though. There's a sports league. And the wild thing is is that there's an audience there, which I will feel will be really scary after they cut them cameras off. I don't know how I feel about that. uh, That's kind of weird. I will say no. (laughs) Would never go to anything like that because I feel like afterwards it would just be a whole gangbang. So no, dude, fuck that. I would not feel comfortable with another dude dick slinging 
when I'm dick slinging. And we just both dick slinging together. Uh, no. No, no. Fuck no, dude. That, that's just crazy. Could never. Could never. But that's, that's a little wild. That's. But I'm not saying to advertise it or anything like that. But just know for all y'all that didn't know, there's a porn sports league. And it's pretty crazy. And the fact that there's an audience, I think, is even crazier because people pay for tickets. They paid for tickets to go watch it. That's wild. That's sad. Is that sad? I think that's beyond an addiction. Like. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I can't be in the same boat as them. Mm -mm. They're different. They're a different breed that I am just not a part of. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. Crazy. That shit is crazy. Also, what's crazy is is that um. The world, I don't know what the world record is. I think it's like 15 seconds, but I swear that shit has been beaten by one of one of my friends. That man said that he went home and was clapping cheeks for 12 seconds and that was it. That's all he, that's all he got. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is wild. <laughs> oh, that's like... <laughs> It's like a stroke. That's like a, oh no, that's, that's like, it's like two strokes and a half, bro. He is like, bam, bam, oh, 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 gotta go. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know what the Guinness, the Guinness world record of uh, fastest ejaculation, but I swear that shit has definitely been beaten because I have not seen anyone else comment or anything being faster, faster than 12 seconds. Now, I will say that's only for men. There is actually, I think, a world record for women that is 2.5. And that shit has to be crazy. Like, you're done, in, you're done that fast? That's, that's one pump. That's why. That, yeah. I don't. That's crazy. But, no. Uh, But hopefully y'all ended up liking this episode. It's around like an hour long. But yeah, man. Just want y'all to go ahead and just stay blessed. We need to manifest our dreams, bruh. There's people at my like work that's been talking about it. But even beforehand, I always like thought about it is like you know you need to always it's like with dj cali basically always saying like his dumb ass bullshit but like before back when he was talking about lion he was talking about major key and stuff like that that's him manifesting and yeah a lot of people thought it was like funny and crazy or like what is he doing that that's him manifesting major key basically this He's a manifester and you see how he's doing in life. Like you will see people that like that usually like manifest stuff are more successful. So the point is for us to be more successful, we need to manifest. We need to not be a quitter. Manifest what the fuck it is that you're trying to do. But also, you know, not overdoing yourself. Because some people will get to a point where they're overdoing themselves burnout happens and you're like fuck and burnout can happen not even just based on like for you working a lot but if you did a lot and then it's like you know some shit happened and it just basically you have to start like all over but you already did so much you already basically burned yourself out and now you can't go again bro take your time that's all you got to do take your time manifest and whatever the fuck i said before Kind of forgot. Because that's just what we got to do, man. But y'all go ahead. 
y'all stay blessed of course you know don't just do more be more i'm not sure if y'all really get that hopefully y'all do hopefully it makes sense to y'all i'll explain it probably next episode i don't want to really do it right now because i gotta go take a shit but don't just do more be more y'all stay blessed peace